Gujarat top cop Sanjeev Bhatt's driver speaks out says that Sanjeev Bhatt attended meeting at Gujarat Chief Minister's residence on the 27th of February. गए वहां से डीजीपी साहब की गाड़ी थी मेन डीजी था या डीजी डीजीपी ये नहीं मालूम एडिशनल डीजी हुआ डीजी तो वैसे ही गए सर उतर के उस गाड़ी में बैठ गए बोला आप गाड़ी मेरे को इतना कि उस गाड़ी में बैठ गए तो केडी पंत थे तो केडी पंत वहां फाइल लेके खड़े थे सर ने उनको बोला कि आप ऐसे मेरे को तो इशारा सुना नहीं क्या बोले क्या नहीं इशारा हाथ का किया तो मैं केडी पंत को पूछा कि भाई क्या हुआ क्या हुक्म दिया सर ने किधर चलना है तो उन्होंने बोला गाड़ी के पीछे पीछे ले चले गाड़ी के पीछे पीछे तो हम गए सी एम हाउस गए तो खाली गाड़ी थी आगे चार पाँच गाड़ियाँ थी हम उन सभी गाड़ियों के पीछे लगा दिया ये वैसे आश्रय इतना कि होगा उसमें हमारे को साढ़े दस पौने ग्यारह का टाइम हो गया होगा वैसे फिक्स टाइम का नहीं है तो उस टाइम हम वहाँ रहे साहब वहाँ बीस पच्चीस मिनट रुके या आधे घंटा रुके इतने टाइम रुके रुकने के बाद में फिर वापस आ गए पुलिस भवन आ गए और पुलिस भवन से साढ़े बारह पौने एक के लगभग अहमदाबाद आ गए Abhishek is with us on the phone line. Abhishek, what are the implications of the comments made by the IPS officer's driver? Well, you know, uh, in the affidavit that uh, Sanjeev Bhatt has filed, he has maintained that he was present in this meeting in which the Gujarat Chief Minister instructed for the police to go slow. Now, that uh, stand of Sanjeev Bhatt that he was present in that meeting has been contested by uh, Chief Minister Narendra Modi himself in, in his deposition before the Supreme Court appointed SIT. So now this driver saying that he had actually taken Sanjeev Bhatt to the chief minister's residence adds to uh, Bhatt's contention that he was actually present in that meeting. Right. In fact, just hold your thoughts and let's uh, let's listen in that to uh, to how the Gujarat top cop Sanjeev Bhatt actually filed an affidavit in the Supreme Court naming Narendra Modi in his affidavit saying that Modi was directing all the activities during Godra riots and also slamming the SIT's probe. So with us a senior Gujarat IPS officer who has filed this affidavit in the Supreme Court uh, mentioning in it that uh, he was present in the meeting of February 27, 2002 when Chief Minister Narendra Modi uh, instructed for the Gujarat police to go slow on the rioters. Uh, we'll know from him directly as to uh, what made him file that affidavit. Sir. Uh, the reasons for filing the affidavit have mentioned the affidavit itself. So there is nothing further I can disclose at this stage. Right. But, you know, uh, you mentioned two things in it. One, uh, the events of, of the meeting of February 27, 2002. Second, the reason data, so to say, of the affidavit that, you know, you don't trust the SIT. What makes you say that, you don't, you know, you, truth might not come out? I interacted with the SIT on several occasions, starting from 2009. So during my interactions, I perceived a few things, which I brought to the notice of the chairman of the SIT. And now I'm bringing them to the notice of the Supreme Court as well. So those reasons I can't discuss with you in this forum, but they are before the Supreme Court. So let the Honorable Supreme Court examine them and decide. Right. And what would be the next step now? Is it like uh, if, this, if it comes to the Supreme Court, you would go and depose as well? I have already deposed before the SIT on several occasions. I have already filed an affidavit and there is a stated things on the Honorable Supreme Court. And as and when the Honorable Court wants assistance in any capacity, I will depose. I am pretty bound to say the truth.